The main thing I've been telling people is we practice love. Everybody. I'm not playing church whatsoever. Because the game commandments is love God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul, and love thy neighbor as thyself. And to do that, you must love with truth indeed, because the love is more than this word and tongue. So while everybody is going on about it, they are going out in the rampant out there, you know, whoever it is, then you need to understand that you're not loving right. If you're provoking the wrath, you're not loving. If you're busy lying or you're busy, I mean, always, I mean, sometimes, sometimes there's, there's, you know, like, I'm not excusing, you know, but, you know, but if you, like, don't, not sure, you know, like, there's sometimes where people make a mistake, you know, whatever, of course, it's not really a lie, I mean, it'd be like, okay, you didn't know, but, um, but regardless, you know, say God forgive me, you know, for, and ask forgiveness. To fetch your sins, you know, like you're supposed to. And he'll, clean, he'll cleanse you, you know, from any unrighteousness to forgive your sin. So, but if you're busy doing stuff like you know stuff like that you know that's a sin you know if you're doing the adultery they're dealing they're murdering and so on and so forth whatever it is you know if you're busy doing that you're not and if you're not being loyal listen if you're married like i say that you see there's people that cheat in marriages you know You know, like, people in marriages, how can you have cheat or, you know, divorce, you know, said different times and say you're a loyal friend? Because if you're not being loyal to your marriage, how can you be a loyal friend? I could talk about it because I'm not with somebody. I mean, but it, the main thing is, first of all, that the it's a commandment. Love is a commandment, not an option and not a choice. It's a commandment. Because when you go to heaven, you're gonna be loving. It ain't gonna be none of all of this. Well, going back and forth playing church. It's not going to be none of all of that. And it's going to be the truth. You're going to have all that. You're gonna, you'll be loving. You, you're not going to be, there's going to be, there ain't going to be any more sin at all. So, therefore, you know, you must practice loving. That's the main thing. Because that's a commandment. And if you're busy loving, you, 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 you know, and once you get in the groove of that, you know, hey. And you focus on God, of course, all the time. And you you, you get build a relationship. You have to build a relationship. Go through things, you, you know, and you have, you know, because they're going to be haters. There's going to be haters. I experienced all that. I can lay this and lay like this. And then I was told the rest. Well, I was, well, I'll tell you about my relationship. I'll tell you about how, you know, how things are going. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not, it, it's not that easy. But regardless, you know, I'm not here trying to uh, poking dolls and doing this witchcraft. I am not, 
What do, what did people that tell you that came from that and follow Jesus? What they're doing? I don't do none of that. I don't have none of that. Like I'm not here practicing none of that. I don't have a Ouija boards. I don't have on it and stuff that that you know because there's only one way, right? Yeah. Truth, the way, the life. On the one way to the Father. So, what I'm saying is, you know, in reality, if you love somebody, hey, don't just keep on saying it. Do something, you know? Or try to. Because, I mean, there's some situations where the only way, it, 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 like, I mean, you could, you know, if you, like say for instance, some people are like this. People will say, "Oh, you don't have anything." Well, pray for them. I mean, if, but give them Jesus. That's the way to do it. Give them the word. If they don't want it, hey, that's the best way to do it. This prayer and that, because it's not materialistic. It, like it's more is more than materialistic, and if they that there'll be times where if you don't have because if people are go through struggle, you don't got nothing for them, because you know what it's like, right? So if you're in that situation, then what can you do? If you got no money like they they want, and you know, what what could you do? So the action is pray for them. You know, give them the word and do that and let God be God. Now, of course, and make food. They, they ask for food, you know what I'm saying? But they, they swipe you off for that. What can you do? You feel me? And they'll stop you from me. Oh, my God. It, it's, yeah, it could be frustrating because, you know, you try your best and then everything else and you, no matter what it is, they... I lived through this stuff. This is experience. And then they just sometimes people, and it, it, will, it will make you feel like, ugh. because as you know, hey, when you put it to the table and everything else, and, and especially if you put God's word, you know, and towards the table and, you know, build a relationship for so long, and, you know, and people keep on, you know, and, and it frustrates you because you learned a lot and you've seen a lot and you dealt with a lot and they still is never good enough for them. So question for you, you know what I'm saying? So it's up to you. But you see, God is the one that created all. And you got to learn to lose a lot of people. See, money, they like they say, I say, is a root to all, is a root to all evil, right? Well, it, and it, it it causes more problems, right? But see, money, you you people want money. Like I said, like like even God said, you you get more, you get money, but you're gonna want more and more and more and more. Okay, but you get too greedy, and then you think you're so hot shot, Mr. and Mrs. Hot Shot. Think you're this and that, but look where you came from. You got to be thankful what you have and be thankful. That's another way to show, it. and then you could be somebody improving. I look. I stay. You know, I I've been trying to improve, and I stay away from people, and so that way they can't say anything. I get. I build my relationship with God. I go out when I'm supposed to, when He wants me to, and I ask Him for strength. Ask Him. You know, build a relationship with Him. That's the best way. And then. And so, so I'm put in your relationship with other people. And I'm telling you that because God is love. 
God is spirit. God, Holy Spirit. God is Holy Spirit. You know, Father of the fatherless. You know, God is everything, you know, because he can do everything, because he created it all. But some people don't believe, and, and some people, you know, hey, they're fools for that. Only a fool says there's no God. Because even Satan knows. You understand that? Jezebel, all, all, they know. They know their place. They just want to attack you. Look, I don't watch porn, but guess what? I'll tell you what, there'd be dreams where I get attacked, having sex and all of that. I don't get, I don't have sex. Like, like, really, like, you know, but hey. I just, I keep getting tapped while sleeping. But sometimes, you know, there's sometimes, but I have dreams where I pray. I have dreams where, you know, there's dreams where I in, in in the sky. You know what I'm saying? Things happen. You know what I'm saying? I had rapture dreams. I shared it with you before. It's this all that they delete everything on YouTube. Or they throw the last one. I had many of them, but I've talked about this stuff. And I grow and continue to grow. But, you know, yeah, I know this social media stuff. People buy fans and stuff like that. People say, oh, you're doing this views. No, I mean, but like I'm saying that I want to do for views is because to get the gospel out there. To more people, but it's like I'm not doing it to get, you know, keep it out of balance. But I mentioned God to people. I thought God is great. And he's the reason why I'm alive right now. He's the reason why you're alive. Every living thing that has breath, praise the Lord. You have breath, you're breathing. I'm blessed. I've been through some stuff. But I've been out. I pray for people. I do. Yes, I am a man of God. You can you can tell me uh, not because I know I am. And um, I'm not playing church. I don't. And by the way, smoking is bad for you. And vaping. And I'm not here judging. It's bad for you. You know why it's bad for you too? It kills your brain cells. It goes up and, and it's ruining your temple. Yeah, I mean, I know people like to get, you know, fit and stuff like that, but you got to have this too. If you get headaches or you get migraine, that's probably because you're smoking a lot too or you're vaping. Why? I know a personal experience. You have to have as well, you know, you have to have 
fitness up in here too. It's part of fitness. But I care about you. I ain't worried about, you know, because I'm not supposed to be worried about anything. But yes, I care. I love. You have to tell you that. It's just part of you loving yourself. Love that they rest yourself. Yeah, but congratulations to hard work people. Yes, I mean, of course, you go out while you're here. While we're visiting you, you at work and stuff. And there's some times where, you know, hey, like there's some, you know, See, I work for, you see, I, you know, I work too, whether you like it or not. I mean, I have put in work and labor and stuff like that. And, but you can say, oh, you don't do nothing. I do. I work. I work for God. And I work on myself. See me do push-ups and stuff like that. I don't like like if I have problems. I don't go. To, I haven't been able to go to the doctor's a chiropractor. I'm working on that too. Because you know, hey, and I'm on social media. I don't get paid for it, but other people get paid for it. And but I'm and people get ties off and we're preaching. Guess what? But I'm telling you, the main thing we're supposed to be practicing is love. So loving myself until it's proved I love myself. I've been doing push-ups. I've been doing this to move and stuff like that. Getting the move, uh, you know, moving my hips and stuff like that. Because I've been hurt. But I'm only trying and everything else. You see, I'm also... But you could talk about me as much as you want, but I put in effort. People say, oh, you're lazy. I got, let me tell you what, I put in what I could put in. And if I go to work, let's say I go to work, do stuff where I'm at. I don't got a vehicle. I'm going to be honest. I'll be riding a bike. I'll be exercising. Getting tired, pushing myself again, getting money, but working in like boom, 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 boom. But hey, I know it, but it's not complaining. I'm saying, look at your day. You go home to somebody, you know, you're in a car. It doesn't take that much. I'm already trying to miles moving my legs. I, you know, and you know, it gets tiring. I'm already tired and sweaty already even begin with in work. Especially going to the interview. So, but you know, it takes two to get hired, but hey, think about this. Like I put in motion. Get my body pumping, but when I start to sweat or stuff like that, you know, and then I start to get tired. I'm tiring myself out before. You get tired, right, at work, huh? Just by in it, but you get the event going on, and you'd be like, oh, what a day. But you see, I can't do that. I got to go, pedaling, like, no matter what the weather is, you know, and go to work. And I would do that kind of work. And then do whatever. And then pedal back. It's not the only time I've done this stuff. But what about you doing it? Wait for you to say I'm lazy. It's 
It's not lazy. Well, hey. Well, I didn't mess up. I'm here telling you, hey, look at the difference. You feel me? If I had a teammate, if I had somebody my, as a helper, and they had a vehicle, that'd be, that, that's something. And they're not going to get to that. But hey, like I said, there are people out there that will quickly look down on you. You say, ha, 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 you lazy. You don't have a car. That's the stuff I'd be talking about. Not that I'm lazy. But I need, you know, well, communication too as well. Yeah, how can you have good, solid team but you have no communication? How can you have love, like, good love, like, love, like you don't have communication? Talk to God every day. And people need to understand it's not me that's feeling communication. I'm not lacking. It's people that just because who they are, you know, hey, it takes two, right? So, well, I'm not, you see, I'm not even worried because I know what I'm capable of doing. Let's just say I was in your shoe, like, let's say, had a, let's say I had a vehicle, okay? I guarantee you this, I'll be at work. Well, look, I, even when I was able to walk good, you know what I'm saying? I walk to work anyways. I'm foot walking to work. And there's some people give, you know, keys to cars and stuff like that. And stuff like that. I recognize the essentials. Do I get recognized? No. But of course, people say, oh, are you proud to try to get me? Say, are you proud, am I proud of you? Of course, I mean, obviously, I'm happy for you. I did, you know, on a job. I've always been proud and happy when someone got a job. Congratulations. I never said you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that. And God knows. Because, but do I get. Oh, I'm proud of you. Like, it's sometimes it's like, hey, yeah, you got a job. Woohoo. But not the major, but people want me to bounce up and down, like, oh, like, yeah, yeah, every day. I mean, of course, I always want someone to, good, you got a job, but you're not getting my ear. Some of them have jobs and not get my ear. They have to say, why you ain't doing nothing with it? Um, actually, you do do stuff. I had that stuff before, but I forgive. You know what I'm saying? I, but if I'm having a rough time, a rough patch in my life where there's people that lie, I, why would I want to work with someone that lies to me? Because it's not how you handle business. That's why people leave. People come and go. Because you can't have a solid team if you're lying. You can't. And I am a team player because I'll amp them up and say, hey, congratulations. I'll say congratulations to them. And say you're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. They get them pumped up, excited for what they do.
but uh, Oh, yeah. Well, that love. I'm trying to tell you to love. Love each other. Instead of putting down each other. Yeah, we practiced that.